Hello YouTube, this is Damian Moody and please excuse the fact that mm, Please excuse the fact that I am shirtless But <sighs> Girl, it's too hot and my hair is fucked up. I'm shirtless. I ain't fight putting no shirt on. My room is super hot, so just bear me through this video, but in this video, I just wanted to talk about a topic that is very touching to a lot of people. And I see a lot of um, artists who talked about uh, the hip-hop industry and uh, the LGBT community trying to get in that hip-hop industry and a lot of people had negative reviews about the whole thing. A lot of people had positive reviews. But what I want to talk about is how a lot of people say, I mean, claim that they are non-homophobic, but, um, I just see that as always people um, accepting the men and the women. You might see a gay person in a video. I'm like, matter of fact, I don't ever think I've ever seen a, like a video with a straight artist or something. And it's a gay person in a video or something. Well, male artists. I've seen female, art, female artists who had like a gay guy in a video or a gay dancer or gay this, gay that. But... A lot of these males, act, I mean, say they stand up for people like, a lot, I see a lot of these uh, artists stand up for uh, LGBT people, and for some reason, I'm like, okay, I see Jay-Z, Jay-Z and them accepting Frank Ocean, and they stand up for LGBT people. And I see a few art, other artists who had positive uh, comments on LGBT community. But you never see them with a gay person in their video. You never see them accepting the transgenders. And every time I look at the BT Awards or some type of awards, and they do the fucking, um, what is it? They do the fucking, um, mem the memoriams. I see them talk about Trayvon Martin, Philando Castile, all of them. But they never bring up transgenders or the gays who passed away. It is always a straight male are a straight female, or they act like uh, the transgenders in the LGBT community ain't getting killed out here and getting shot and losing their lives too. And that's what hurts because I'm just like, y'all could talk about Trayvon Martin or something, but ain't nobody talk about China Gibson or what, what was her name? Erica King or Erica something. I got, I don't remember what the fuck her name was on my Instagram. Or any of the other people who lost their lives. Um, you don't see no transgender. You don't see no open transgender models. I say, oh, I was in the Jay Z V, or I was in the Kanye West V, or I was in the Lil Wayne V, or I was in this, or I was in that. And it just hurts. I mean, like you got pretty ass transgender models. Why y'all mad? Cause there's born men in there, they're women. Like what the fuck? Don't, uh, I mean, if you're going to accept us, accept us fully. Accept us where you're putting us in your videos. Accept us where you're giving us uh, front row tickets at your concerts. Accept us fully. Don't just half ass. That's what I want, like, for real. And I'm, and it's a lot of these women accepting them. You see the gays in their videos and shit. But I'm talking about these men. It, like I said, if you're going to accept us, accept us fully. Because I don't see a, a King of Maya Sky in a Jay-Z video. Or I don't see a Sydney. Well, I bet her ass wouldn't be. Matter of fact, I'm just going to King of Maya Sky. I don't see a King of Maya Sky in a Jay-Z video or a Lil Wayne video or whoever else walk around. I don't know. who. It's a lot of people who fucking uh, say it is support. Um, it's like when 
Frank Ocean came out and was saying how he was gay or he was bisexual or whatever the fuck he was, um, everybody still accepts him for being Frank Ocean. But I bet you if King of Maya Scar somebody came out and wanted to be an artist and wanted to hang out, they wouldn't, they would be scared because she's transgendered and they see us as we transgender and we we just going around tricking men to believe in we women and then they wonder why we don't have periods and we don't go to the store and get I don't well I can't say we because I'm not transgender. But they wonder why they don't go around the store to get tampons or pads because they don't have periods or they can't get pregnant or we are why well, keep saying we or they can't do what women do. All they can do is dress pit bras on, pit panties on Put wigs and weeds and that, or wear natural hair out, put heels on and just look like a woman and sound like a woman, but they can't fully do what women do. So we don't want y'all in our videos. And then you got people, then you got the transgenders who's fucking it up. And that's probably why, because you got people like Sydney Starr who take a few pictures with some rap artists and even if the shit fucking happened, Y'all do it to where some of that shit may be true, but then some of it don't be true. So now y'all guys, y'all got these artists looking at the Chingy story or the Soldier Boy story or something. And they just like, well, we're not working with transgenders and we're not going to take a picture with transgenders. And we're not going to do this and we're not going to do that because any of that shit could have happened. Or you got the incident with uh, Norman Freeman and uh, Mike Epps. Where come in, YouTube comedian Norman Freeman went to a Mike Epps event and showed his ass because he felt like Mike Epps ain't want to take a picture with him or whatever the case may be. And I was just like, that's not everybody. Y'all look at it like one person done something and now y'all don't want to work with no one who's transgender. Y'all don't want to work with any man who likes to present their self with a wig on and wearing women clothing or dressing uh, feminine and flamboyant but y'all can look around and y'all accept the Michael Jacksons who walk around with I mean yeah y'all accept the Michael Jacksons y'all accept the Prince y'all accept this person that person who walk around with little flamboyant and feminine looking outfits or wore their hair in flamboyant ways or y'all accept that y'all don't think uh, I mean y'all accept the Snoop Dogg Snoop Dogg is another artist who I seen Snoop Dogg with uh painted nails and I think he I might have seen him with nails that had the uh piercings in them. I seen Snoop Dogg wear curls and perms and this and that. It's a lot of these artists who claim they straight, but they could wear curls and perms and braids with bees and this and that. And everybody just walk around freely and everybody thinking they uh get I mean I mean and some people think they gay, some people think they straight. But it's a lot of these artists dyeing their hair pink and dyeing their hair blonde and doing a whole bunch of homopho I mean homo homosexual shit, but they want to be presented as straight. You got Chris Brown. Chris Brown's an artist who accept who takes pictures and accepts everybody. I've seen it for myself. He took a picture with uh, I mean he took a picture with um gay people. He done songs for all types of fucking people. He even took a picture with a gay, what was it, fashion designer or something. You got uh, Shamar Moore. Shamar Moore accepts all fans. He got gay fans, bisexual fans, straight fans. And people want to say that he's gay because he took a picture with no shirt on, on, on or a picture lifting his shirt up, and he's hugging the man. And that's the type of shit I accept. I accept a man who's not homophobic and I can take a picture with them and, and even if people see it as gay because I'm in the picture with him, he got his shirt up or something, doing something. That's the thing. Not every fucking thing is gay. Just like they want to be talking about some Odell Beckham is gay because a picture was taken a certain way where it looked like he looking at somebody ass or he too close to a man or y'all got a picture y'all got a picture with uh Michael B. Jordan and some guy he worked with and they hugging in the picture or the guy got his hand, his head on Michael B. Jordan's chest 
or he too close to a man, not every fucking thing is gay. And that's the goddamn thing. And why is gay such a fucking problem? Because they y'all want to say Jesus died for all our sins, but I'm not judging you because you must have fucked Tom, Dick, and Harry and got a whole bunch of different baby daddies. I'm not judging you because you keep on having abortions. I'm not judging you because you used to be a cocaine or a stripper and a cracky and a fiend, I mean, an addict and a dope fiend or whatever. I'm not judging you because you used to be homeless. So why the fuck are you judging me? Because I choose to be a man who likes to have sex with men and likes to do sexual things with men. But you could be a man and uh, watch. I mean, you you want to act like you so, you so homophobic when you're around men, but you could sit there and watch a man on television, on a DVD, or on the porno, have sex with another man. You could watch a man, all these men walking around the street, stagging hands in their pants, ass out, pubes out. You could watch a movie where there's a lot of uh, sexual scenes, but you want to be so homophobic. You want to claim you can't watch Star because it's a it's a, a a gay guy who's dressed like a woman and a transgender woman on there, or you want to claim that you don't want to watch it. I mean, if I'm I mean if we best friend. Well, it how can I put this? You claim that you accept me because I'm telling you I'm gay. You accept me, but if I'm sitting there. And now I'm watching a Jay, a Jay Will video where he dresses candy. And I'm watching a Malibu Dollface video or a Messy Maya video. Or I'm, um, who else? I'm trying to think. Any motherfucking thing. You, I mean, you you don't want to watch it because you, you don't accept, I mean, you don't like it. But we, we supposed to be friends, though. And that's what happened. And I'm going to tell you all about that. Because I had a friend who claimed they had sex me. I could dance around them, everything. But I, after a while, I seen that you was trying to embarrass me. You sitting here acting like you accepted and you know I like to dance and shit. And I dance around you and shit. And we all hanging around and I'm wearing my wigs and shit. But you was trying to embarrass me. because And it all came down to this one motherfucking incident as to where... We was having a bad day, all right. We've been arguing and shit, but we was cool at the moment because we didn't got over the art. Whatever we was arguing about at that moment until the the moment happened. So he's walking by. I'm on my own laptop. He got his TV playing music videos. I'm on my own motherfucking laptop, and I'm watching a video, a Messy Maya video, Auberville, where Messy Maya. Is pouncing, twerking, whatever you want to call it. He walked past to the part, I mean, while the part was playing where Messy Maya is spinning his booty around. It's not my fault you don't appreciate what I'm watching, but I'm watching it. I'm not, I'm not watching it on your Xbox or whatever the fuck you watching it on. I'm in my own space, in my own lane, watching my own video. Now... You claim you upset when I'm in, we all in the house, and I'm dancing around and shaking my ass and playing around. But when I went to watch a Messy Maya video, um, he want, I mean, he wanted to be disrespectful and want to walk past and talk about some ill. And this is the thing with people. If you going to fucking accept me, accept me fully. Don't have acid. As us gays, us gays, we're going to talk about having sex with a man. We're going to talk about kissing a man. You can walk around and have a conversation with us about you fucking a woman or sticking your dick in a woman or doing shit like that. But then when I want to say I want to do it with a man or if I'm a gay artist and you a gay artist and we working to fuck together, I mean, we plan on working together and I don't want to do a song referring to a woman. I want to do a song referring to a man. Don't, I mean, don't set me the fuck at all if you don't fucking like it. Because I'm not going to... Just because you're singing this song about a woman, I'm not going to sing it about a woman too if Lord knows that I like men and I want a male love interest in the video. 
I'm not going to pick a woman interest because that's what you want in your video, and I'm just the feature artist. And that's my goddamn thing. I don't think these artists who get in this hip hop industry should be making songs about a woman sucking their dick or them fucking a the woman or them getting a the woman pregnant if they fucking gay. Let us be gay. Let us refer to men in our song. Stop making us be half ass for the hip hop industry. Because you're not half assing when you wear our clothes. You're not half assing if you're a, a straight male, but you walk around with pink hair, blonde hair, pink dress, blonde dress, piercings all over your face, feminine ass clothing, walk around with skirts and shit, but you want to be straight and you want to have kids and you don't want people calling you gay. That's my thing. Um, And that's where it came to. I just wish that the fucking hip hop industry accept people more. Because it makes no sense. Y'all act like y'all non-homophobic and y'all accept everybody. But I don't see no transgender models in y'all videos. I don't see a transgender lady and lady. Y'all want to act like y'all non-homophobic. But I don't think I don't see y'all fucking uh, songs telling stories about what us gays go through. Y'all want, and then with the BT Awards, Noise of Awards. Y'all want to always accept the straight people who die, the straight people who die, straight people who die. But y'all never talk about the gays who lost their lives, the gays who got their ass whipped by police. The, I don't ever think I've really even seen the wars except what happened in the fucking uh, that Orlando club. I don't think I've seen one of the wars wins that talk about what happened in the Orlando club. Well, all them people lost their fucking lives. Because y'all don't give a fuck. Y'all always want to talk about the streets. And I'm not trying to make this video uh, 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 aiming disrespectfully at a Trayvon Martin or any all, all straight people out there. Like, I'm just saying fucking facts. It's like y'all don't really accept us. Y'all have ass just to get our attention and try to make us shut up. Well, we're not going to shut up. Because it's either y'all accept us, y'all love us, y'all accept us, y'all appreciate us. Or leave us the fuck alone. And I'm going to leave it at that. So please like, comment, subscribe. I will be talking more about this topic. Um, share my video. Uh, check out my uh, social media accounts if y'all want to. And I'll get back to y'all in my next video.